Hi everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to get into another installment of my summer wedding planning series and this one's going to be all about dress shopping. So I actually bought my wedding dress online from Azazi and I had a great experience using their custom sizing and their try-on program. So this week we're going to talk about their try-on program and how I tried on three of their dresses. Um, they send them to you all nicely packaged up in garment bags all in a box together. You can order up to three dresses at a time for I think like $15 each is the try-on fee. So I had shopped at David's Bridal actually twice. This is the Costa Mesa location. And I tried on a lot of cute dresses and the staff were all really nice. Uh, that was filmed in March 2022, which is why I've got the mask on. And I really enjoyed my experience at David's Bridal, but I didn't find the one. So I ordered some try-ons from Azazi and that's what we're going to look at today. Next week I'll reveal which one of these three that I actually chose but we're just going to get into trying on the dresses at home. This was really convenient. I got to try them on multiple times. Um, my husband was still working fully from home at this point so um, I had to kind of like hide away in my bedroom for a little bit. We're going to alternate for each dress between my first try-on and I'll voice over that and then we'll cut to trying it on in my living room a second time where I kind of walk you through my thought process. So this first dress is called the Aria. All three of these dresses are still available, which is amazing because I, I filmed this, I, I tried these on over a year ago. So the fact that they still have these dresses is kind of impressive. But this is the Aria and this is in diamond white on diamond white. So both the lining and the overlays are in diamond white and I really liked this one for the sleeves it has a leg slit that you're not gonna see here but you'll see it eventually and I really enjoyed this for the sleeves I really was trying to order a dress with sleeves um, I tried on several at David's bridal and I love this back detailing I love like the sheer buttoned up back and how it kind of like framed my back with the lace. I didn't love the deep V plunge, that just was not me. I didn't love the leg slit, but that could easily be stitched up. But otherwise, I really enjoyed like the drop waist and um, all of the detailing that goes down onto the skirt and of course the sleeves. Now, with the sleeves, I realized that maybe that wasn't the route I wanted to take because when I was trying it on, obviously they're a lot larger then I would need and I'd have to have them tailored down especially like the armpit area so it might not be super comfortable and not like something I could really dance in personally and I tend to get like sweaty even when it's not that hot outside so ultimately didn't really go with the sleeves but I did really enjoy this dress this was my initial favorite when I first tried on these dresses so that is the Aria. Um, if you want something with a deep V plunge but that still has sleeves and it has that kind of dramatic leg slit, then this would be a great option for you. So we're going to go ahead and pause here and cut to back in April 2022 when I actually tried this on and get my first initial impressions. And also deal with the fact that for some reason everyone decided to start getting really noisy outside my window right when I started recording this voiceover. So let's go ahead and jump back in time to pass Jessica. Before we do that, I did just want to highlight the skirt of this dress. Something that I really liked about Azazi dresses versus uh, David's bridal was that a lot of the detailing even on cheaper dresses goes down onto the skirt There's still appliques on the skirt whereas the David's bridal dresses all had very plain Skirts in the same price range. So that's why I liked Azazi You got more bang for your buck and there's that leg slit if you're into that sort of thing I wasn't but if you are there you go Alrighty, so this first one is called the Aria, and I got it in diamond white. I love this one for the sleeves, obviously, and for the appliques down here on the bodice. And I really do love the back with like the faux button detail and like how it's sheer here, but like kind of outlined with lace. I really do like that. I'm not 100% confident in this deep V but it is white mesh instead of nude mesh, so that makes me a little more comfortable. And then the sleeves, I feel like, would need to be tightened or adjusted. 
This I would probably order with custom measurements. This is like zero size, so probably need to adjust it. But I love the skirt. It's got like a little bit of texture to it. It's got the appliques. I, this is like my top choice right now. Whoa, too long though. <laughs> I'm a little unsure how this would work as a reception dress, but I can move around pretty well. So hopefully it would work out. <laughs> hopefully I can dance in this. It would, of course, get hemmed. All right, so secondly, we had the Sorella dress, and can I just say, I absolutely adored the floral appliques on this dress. The skirt, beautiful, like with these trailing vines with flowers all down the bottom, and I just absolutely loved them. They had a little bit of sparkle to them with some sequins. Of course, it's a less expensive dress, so the sparkle is going to come from things like sequins instead of beading, but oh my goodness, I just absolutely adored this skirt. This one is diamond white overlay, but then a champagne lining. Um, that was all they had available to try on when I placed this order. Uh, I got a very low back with a few buttons. I will say about the Aria as well, I loved the button detailing on that dress as well. I liked the back of this one, obviously very like floral and pretty and ethereal. And you got a little bit of the applique sticking out over the edge, very skinny straps, which I wasn't sure if I was comfortable with. And then the front is kind of low cut with a deep V. Absolutely love that skirt, adore that skirt. This was an extremely lightweight wedding dress as well. So if that's something that you're looking for, this would be a great option, I think especially for a summer wedding. It was very lightweight. You weren't gonna get weighed down or feel constricted by this dress. Just a very like lightweight, airy, fairy-like, outdoorsy vibes from this dress. So I really adored the skirt and all of the floral appliques on this one. I did have to get this one in a size up from my normal size, whereas the other two dresses are closer to my size. Obviously, none of these fit me correctly because I am five foot two and pretty petite. So everything was way too long on me and way too big on me. But yes, the Sorella beautiful skirt. I just was obsessed with the trailing appliques like so far down the skirt. This is not something I had seen in any of the other dresses and uh, I just thought it was so beautiful. Uh, when you order this dress, this didn't come with the try-on, but when you order the dress apparently you get a free like, they call it a pannier, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but basically like an underskirt so that it will stay poofed out like a nice ball gown. But this could also be pretty without like it having to be more like a ball gown. It could just be pretty as a skirt on its own. So again, this was the Sorella in diamond white on champagne lining, and I was just obsessed with the floral qualities of this dress. The appliques on the Aria were nice, but they felt a bit more formal and more like castle princess vibes whereas i was going more for like fairy woodland vibes so this kind of with the appliques fit that vision a little bit more so let's go ahead and go back in time to april once again and we'll get my first impressions of this dress and maybe my cat's first impressions i can't remember but yes loved the details on this dress All right, this one is called the Sorella, and it is in diamond white with champagne lining, which really just looks new to me. I love the appliques going all the way down the skirt on this one. Uh, they didn't have this one available in a size two, or in a size zero, so I got it in a two, so it's a little bit bigger on me. It would probably fit a little bit higher up. This is very like summer wedding to me. I'm surprised that I don't mind the plunging neckline that much. I actually like it. This one is super lightweight. So the other two dresses are a little bit heavier. This one is very light on the body. So 
I'm not 100% sure about the back. I don't know that I love it, but I don't hate this one. I like it more than I thought I would. It's very pretty, very flowy. I'm just worried it's a little. So then finally we have the third dress that I tried on. So again, each of these dresses cost $15 to try on, but each of them are also under $500. So in my mind, paying the 48-ish dollars to try on three dresses at home and just not have to spend the gas money because I live in California where gas is super expensive anyway, especially in early 2022, gas was like five and a half dollars a gallon. So having things shipped to me actually made a lot of financial sense. But yes, uh, it was definitely worth it to spend the money on getting the dresses shipped to me and I could try them on to my heart's content within a set number of days. But this is the third dress. This is called the Joey. And this is kind of very similar to the Sorella. It has lots of floral appliques with the sequins. The difference is that it has an extra layer um, between the applique layer and the lining layer of this glitter tool. So it's got a bit more glitter to the skirt underneath it. This is also in diamond white overlay with a champagne lining. So again, very similar to what we just saw with the Sorella. The main difference is going to be in the cut of the top and then also that glitter tool layer is adding an extra layer of fabric. So, of course, you heard me talk about with the last dress with the Sorella how much I liked the floral appliques. These floral appliques were a little bit different. Um, I definitely preferred the ones on the skirt with the Sorella, but these ones were very nice as well. The other difference with the Joey, which I thought was a little weird with such a thick skirt, is that there is a leg slit with this one. I wasn't really sure why, because with this many layers of fabric, a leg slit didn't really work for me. So... Uh, I don't know why they include that, but uh, I still really like the skirt on this, and that glitter tool layer does add a little bit of extra poof to it, so you got a good look at the skirt there, and then the my most favorite part of this dress was definitely the back so of the bodice, so they are these beautiful trailing flowers and vines on the low v-neck back. Uh, the front wasn't my absolute favorite, but honestly none of the fronts of any of the dresses that I tried on anywhere were really my favorite. The one exception was this one dress at David's Bridal that had like a really high neck lacy bodice, um, but the skirt left a lot to be desired for me. So kind of had a compromise somewhere. There were some dresses where I'm like, I wish this skirt was on this top with this back, but it just didn't exist and I don't have custom dress money. So I kind of had to just go with what was available out in the retail world. But yes, really love the button details on this as well as uh, I didn't know how comfortable I was with the low back, but I really loved the back as far as the floral appliques go. I mean, that's just beautiful right there. I loved that. And I like that the front of the dress had more of a classic v-neck. I feel like 2020 to 2022, so many low v-necks were really in, and I feel like they're already starting to go out of fashion. I feel like I don't see them on people this year as much. So I really like that this was just a classic v-neck because I didn't personally feel super comfortable in that deep v uh, mesh low, low, low neckline. If you're comfortable in it, that's great. I just personally wasn't. So I liked that this one had more of a classic neckline to me, something that I was just a lot more comfortable in. Uh, yeah, so that is a view of the skirt. I was like holding up my engagement ring against the skirts of each of these dresses just to kind of see like if it matched. It doesn't have to match, of course, but I was going for kind of a nature theme and there's that glitter tool. It did leave a lot of glitter all over my floor, so I had to vacuum that up, but it was really pretty. So let's go ahead and go back to the living room and look at my first impressions. All right, it's now the next day. And my cat is here recovering from a rainstorm. She's very scared of rain and this dress. But this is the Joey. And it's very similar to the Sorella, but it is a lot heavier. So I really like the back on this one. And I also like the bodice. It's a little loose on me, even though it's technically my size. I really love the appliques. This one's got like this glitter tool layer that sheds everywhere. So I have some hesitations about that. 
It's also a lot heavier. Also has a leg slit, unlike the Sorella. But I do really like it. I'm just not sure about these two dresses being winter wedding dresses, but I also live in Southern California. So does that matter? I'm not sure. I did pick one of these three dresses and I'll reveal that next week. But for now, I'd love if you guessed down below which of these three you think I picked. And if you have any questions about Azazi, the try-on process, the buying process, whatever it is, feel free to leave those down below and I will talk to you next time. Bye.